Okay, so here it goes. Completing the square with fractions. Reminder, you must have watched part one for this to make a little bit more sense. Now, if you're super comfortable with fractions, not a problem. But if not, you really, really need to watch that. And then came on the left side of the, of the camera today. Okay, 2x squared plus 7x plus 5. That's in standard form. If I want to put it in, in vertex form, I need to complete this square. The first step was to factor out the 2. And I need to do 7 divided by 2, which is just 7 over 2x. Right? Now when I add a number, I'm going to subtract the number, and I put the plus 5 outside. Okay. I need to get half of 7 halves. Well, I can do it in my head. I know that 7 half would be 7 fourths. But if I can't do this in my head, I would do on the side 7 halves times 1 half. Multiply the top, multiply the bottom. And that's 7 over 4 like we had done before. Okay, so if I put 7 over 4 on top, 7 over 4 on the bottom, it's going to create a square that's 7 over 4 squared. How do I square? I just square the top, square the bottom. So 7 squared is 49. 4 squared is 16. Okay, how did I come up with those numbers? Again, it's going to be 7 over 4 squared. And we know that's square the top, square the bottom for a fraction. So it's 49 over 16. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next step, and that's 2. These three guys are going to be the x squared plus 7 over 4 squared. That takes care of that square that I created. And this minus 49 over 16 comes out and gets multiplied by 2. Now I know that that 2 is going to simplify with that 16. So that 16 will become 8. And if I cannot see that, I will write it on the side. Be minus 49 over 16 times 2. And I know that this cancels with the 1. This cancels with an 8. And that's minus 49 over 8. And that worked. And now I need to add this 5. But I'm going to save myself a step. And instead of just putting a 5, I'm going to do something over 8. Now I know that 1 is below this, so 1 times 8 gives me 8, 5 times 8 is 40. And that's my step. Now if I, wanted, if I can't do that in my head, I'll write it on the side, be minus 49 over 8 plus 5, and it's really 5 over 1, so I'm going to have minus 49, 8 plus something over 8. 1 times 8 is 8, 5 times 8 is 40. And that's where it came from. And now if we do minus 49 plus 40, which is our last step, not x squared, sorry. I had an extra square that should not be in there. x plus 7 fourths squared. Minus 49 plus 40 is just minus 9 over 8. And of course, since we always go that extra step to say what, what the vertex is, we just state that the vertex is the opposite of this. 7 quarters, that's negative, and a negative 9 over 8. Okay? And that was actually the example that appeared on under part 1. So let's check another. We're going to do two more examples. So if I've got minus 3x squared plus 8x minus 6, you may want to stop the video and give that a try and then continue when to see the, the solutions. Or just, if you're stuck on one step, play till then and then move on. So the first step is to factor out the minus 3. So that's minus 3, minus 3x squared. 8 divided by minus 3 is just minus 8 divided by 3. I'm going to add up a number, I'm going to subtract the number, and then I'll have the minus 6 in the end. Always, always in the end, never touch it. Now, what's half of 8 thirds, or negative 8 thirds? Well, half of 8 is 4, so I know that's going to be 2 times negative 4 over 3. 
And if I can't do that in my head, I'm going to say minus 8 over 3 times 1 half. The 2 and the 8 cancel, or simplify, and that's minus 4 over 3. Okay, our next step is going to be to, if I put minus 4 over 3 on top and minus 3 on the, bottom, on the, on the side, I'm going to have a square of 4 thirds. So 4 thirds, negative 4 thirds squared. I know we just square the top, square the bottom, and it will become positive. So that's plus 16 over 9, minus 16 over 9. Okay? These three numbers are going to become the perfect square that we just created. Minus, not 8, but minus 4 over 3. Remember that we put four thirds on top and four thirds on the side. So, and this number comes out and gets multiplied by the number at the front, which is negative three in this case. So I can do this in my head because the three and the nine will cancel out. A minus and a minus gives me a plus. So 16 over three. Now, if you can't do it in your head, again, you go to the side and you say minus 16 over nine times minus three over 1, then you realize that you can cancel this to minus 1, cancel this to 3, both divided by 3, and minus 16 times minus 1 is just positive 16, and 3 times 1 is 3. And now, I need to subtract 6, but I'm going to write 6 as something over 3, so I can put them together. So this will come here. Now, that's going to be 18, because that's 1 times 3, 6 times 3 is 18. And if you can't see that, then again, it's 16 over 3 minus 6. But I need to rewrite as 16 over 3 minus something over 3. That is 1. So 1 times 3 gives me 3. 6 times 3 gives me 18. And the next step is a simple one. 8, 16 minus 18, it's minus 2 over 3. And there it is. Now I'm just going to state the vertex, which is going to be this and this. So it's opposite of the one in bracket, and minus 2 thirds. And there's our second example of completing the square with fractions, which looks <laughs> quite messy, doesn't it? Or intimidating, perhaps. I'm going to do the last example without the side calculations. I'm just going to do it just straight, kind of the calculations in my head. See if you can follow one more time, give that a try on your own, and uh, then play the video. So, first we factor out the 4. We got x squared plus 5 over 4. I need to add a number, I need to subtract a number, and I got the plus 1 in the end. Okay. Half of 5 fourths, half of 5 fourths is 5 fourths times a half, so you can multiply the bottom by 2, so that's 2 times 5 over 8. I put 5 over 8 on, on the side, 5 over 8 on the bottom, so that gives me a square. 5 squared is 25, 8 squared is 64. Add and subtract. These three numbers, one more time, will become the perfect square that I created. And that's x plus 5 over 8 squared. Now that number that would not take into account comes outside. It's multiplied by the number in front, which is 4. And 4 and 64 will simplify. What's 64 divided by 4? Is it 16? No. 64 divided by 4. 32, 16, yeah, it's 16. 32 times 32 is, sorry, times 2 is 64, so, yeah, 16. So minus 25 over 16. And then plus 1. Well, I want to write something over 16, so that's 16 and 16. 25 minus, sorry, 16 minus 25.
what's that? So it's 16, to get to 20 is 4, and plus 5, so it's 9, minus 9 over 16. And that should be your answer. So therefore the vertex is negative 5 over 8, and negative 9 over 16.